What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about what I think is the most underrated upgrade that I will be doing to my Dyna. First things first, ignore this trailer full of stuff and the shed full of stuff. I'm helping someone move so I have a lot of things being stored here at the moment. But, we're gonna work on the Dyna today. So what we're talking about today is what I think is the most underrated upgrade I'm doing to my Dyna. So my Dyna is fully built. Motors built, suspensions built, has exhaust, it has carburetor, it has pretty much everything any regular person would do to it. And the thing it doesn't have is a new kickstand. I think that's very, very underrated because I have plus two fork tubes over stock. So my, my fork tubes are two inches taller than stock and my rear shocks are 12 and a halfs from Progressive, which is also overstock. So basically we put a lift kit on the bike, but I have a stock kickstand. As you can see, it leans really bad. Bad enough to always be making me nervous. So what I'm doing today is uh, my buddy Roger at Slab Sides in California, he sourced a kickstand that is one inch longer than stock for me. We're gonna see if that brings the tilt angle up a little bit. This is the one Roger sourced for me. It's black, so it'll go with the rest of the bike. And it should be really easy if I remember right. Uh, it's pretty much just undoing the spring in there and undoing the cotter pin, throwing the new one on. Um, I don't have a motorcycle stand, so I'm just gonna bring my wheel chalk out here, throw it in there. Are you ready to see how much it's really leaning over? That's a lot. That's enough to be very scary trying to park on hills or anything like that. All right, we're in the wheel chalk, so it's holding the bike upright without having to have the kickstand down. Now we can pull that old kickstand off. Ah, there we go, springs off, didn't need a tool. So this cotter pin is over on the side here. Just have to try to bend it into place. There we go. Cotter pins out, which means this pin will pull right out. And that drops free, just like that. So what we have to do now is unbolt right there and bolt the new kickstand onto this mechanism. And that lets you pull all this off like that. So here's the difference in the kickstands. So you have this new one, this black one, is quite a bit longer. Should help the bike sit at the right level. So this nut basically hits against this little locking block right here to make sure your kickstand stays in out position and then when it rotates stays in the in position. It's a little bit tight because this new kickstand's powder coated. We'll just have to use a little love to get it on. All right, so used a hammer, tapped that in. I also filed down the powder coat a tiny bit. I wanted it to still have a tight fit so it wouldn't back off too easy. Better tight than loose. All right, I've got it that in there nice and tight. Now all I need to do is put the pin back through this hole, put the cotter pin in there and put the spring on. Should be good to go. All right, that's in. That's where it'll stop this way. And, uh, interesting. It should tuck up in there, but you can't see it. I'll show you in a sec. It is hitting the mount for my passenger foot peg, so we'll see if we need to do anything about that. I'm just actually starting with a fresh cotter pin because the old one was kind of mangled from trying to get it out. This will make it easier. All right, there we go. Cotter pins in. Now I am putting in the spring. There we go. Spring is on, out, in. Which it does hit. All right, everything's in. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick so I can pick up the camera and show you what's going on. All right, hands are washed. 
Now you can see what's going on here. The extended one is hitting the passenger foot peg mount. I don't know if that'll be a problem. I'm wondering if it'll rattle. Maybe I'll just put a little piece of rubber right here or something. Don't really know, but it extends out all the way and stays. And the spring does hold it up here. Maybe uh, I might end up just having to bend this little extra tab or something too. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, we're going to get it off the wheel chalk. See how much that helped. Oh, that's so much better. You can already tell that is so much. Before it was like probably down like this. That's way better. And I love that it's black too. Subtle, but looks good. All right, so as far as install goes, that's it. And as you can see, it made a huge difference in the way that it sits. Uh, so for me, the reason I, why I think it's an underrated upgrade is because no one really talks about it. The parts are easy to find, but most people end up going with a kickstand lift block, which I think doesn't look that good personally. So having a, an inch over stock kickstand does the exact same thing as a one inch lift block would. So it gives me the peace of mind that my bike's not gonna fall over or the kickstand's not gonna break or whatever. It lets me park more places because I'm not worried about hills or anything like that. And it's so easy to do. For all those reasons, that's why I think it's a super underrated upgrade. If you've done everything else on your Dyna, you might as well do that, it's like a hundred bucks. Other than that, it's just time to go ride. So nice to be able to get up here, actually throw the kickstand down and trust it. Normally, since this is a little bit on a hill, this bike would be like this far. And I don't know if you can tell because it's in the GoPro, but this is so much better with this kickstand. And man, is it beautiful up here. This is what I love about Utah. This canyon, this road that goes all the way up through these Wasatch Mountains, this is right behind my house. This is literally a 10 minute ride away from my house and it's amazing. So, so far I have not heard the kickstand rattling or anything like that. Remember it was on the passenger foot peg here. I was worried that it would be rattling because it's hitting against that, but I've not heard that so far. So far so good. It does what it's supposed to do. Bike hasn't fallen over yet. I'm not worried about the lean angle anymore where it used to be, especially on this where it's slightly curved off. This would make me very nervous and honestly I probably wouldn't have done it with the other kickstand. Time to head home. Man, this place is gorgeous. from the ride kickstand works great i mean pretty hard thing to mess up it does its job if the bike doesn't fall over you did it right bike sits at a much better angle and like i said i do think this is a super underrated upgrade so if you haven't done it yet or you have an ugly kickstand lift block in my opinion this is the way to go don't forget to subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what kind of content you want to see uh, we've got some merch coming soon and some car giveaways associated with that so keep your eyes peeled for that and uh catch you on the next one